Hey everybody, you want to make really great family photos in front of the Christmas tree? I'm going to teach you how. So the issue with photographing in front of a Christmas tree is that you want to see the lights, but by the time you're able to see the lights, you have to turn the camera down so low that the people either aren't lit or they're blurry. So that means that you have to use flash. The problem with flash is if you use flash, you wind up making the people look like you're pointing a flashlight at them. So I'm going to teach you how to fix that. The first thing you want to do is you want to set your camera on a tripod and the reason why you want to set it on a tripod is because we're going to be dealing with some very slow exposures and some high ISOs in order to make the tree the original lights on the tree show. Once we put it on a tripod then without putting the flash on we're going to put the camera into manual and then we're going to just dial around the ISO settings we like to be around f4 um, because we want to make sure that everybody's in focus in the shot and that's with a wider angle lens like a 35 millimeter but we don't want to be very very small in that f number because then people will be out of focus so maybe f4 f5 6 let the shutter speed go down to maybe 1 25th of a second and then play with the ISO wheel until you get something where it's still really dark but the tree lights show. Then we're going to fix that by mixing in the blitz of the electronic flash. Now just to give you a real basic on how that works, the camera takes two exposures whenever there's a flash. There's one that's a very very slow exposure which I call the bake. Uh, that in this case would be 1 25th of a second and it would capture the room but not the people. The second one is called the blitz and the blitz is the flash. That flash is something like 1 20,000th of a second and it will then fill the light in the front. So you're basically overlaying two photographs on top of each other. The thing about the blitz is, as I'll show you, if I take a photo with the flash pointed right at the subject, it looks like I pointed a flashlight at them because simply the flash speed light looks like a flashlight. It has the same shape. It's called a parabolic reflector. So what I'm going to do is to fix that is I'm going to put on a light sphere and a, a Gary Fong light sphere and I'm going to turn it right side up. Now the unique characteristic about the light sphere is that it's open on top just like a lampshade after which it was modeled. The lampshade sends light to the ceiling, lights up the entire room, but the sides of the lampshade actually light your subject in a very natural way. This is perfect for shooting a Christmas tree photo and that's what we're going to do here. So once we have the manual set up, again, not so that it looks good in your viewfinder, but so that it looks like you can see the lights on the tree. Then we're going to put the flash on and we're going to set it to TTL mode. The TTL will then do a very nice blend between the blitz and the bake. And there you will have a very naturally lit photograph that has a very nice blend where the flash doesn't look obvious, the people look nicely lit, and you can see the lights on the tree. Have a very happy holiday. Hope all of your family photos look beautiful. And uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Best to you. Bye-bye.